Good morning, everyone. The time is, you can't see, 6.46. And we are up, ready to head to Windsor. We are going to drop off our bags at our hotel, which is Windsor Great Park, the Fairmont, part of the Fairmont Group, which is one of their newest hotels. So I'm very, very looking forward to seeing this one. But we're dropping off our, off our stuff there and then heading off on the mighty hike. And I have my standard hiking uniform. I've got my Adenola tank bra and a pair of Karen Millen green shorts. And today I'm going for the hockers because they're nice and squishy and should be quite comfortable. So that is my outfit. I've got my new large backpack complete with water and snacks and a shirt and a jumper just in case for every eventuality. Um, I packed lots of sun cream because it is supposed to be a scorcher today and um, we're going to head down to Windsor right about now. My husband was very cute. I went to bed quite early last night and he has put my water bottle in the fridge so that my water is nice and cool for my trip. I'm going to pack it full of ice as well. Um, but yeah, we are ready to go. So we have arrived. I'm starting to have uh, second thoughts. <laughs> it's already quite warm, but I'm caffeined up. I've just had an energy ball and uh, this one's already in all the gear and no idea. And we're approaching the start line, which is absolutely fantastic. Are there people that are gonna run this? No. Oh, right, so it's just a walk. It is just a walk. Okay. So we don't have to feel inferior. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, everyone's already there. Are we? No, we're, it's all wave starts. Okay, so we're can all I, good. We can have we to go to register go first. Go to the toilet. First. We can go to the toilet, then we have to register to get our, Perfect. our numbers. I need a nervous wee. Do you want that? Stay hydrated. Get some of that in, natural electrolytes in a day like this. Please stay off the alcohol. Please stay off the alcohol. Please stay off the alcohol. Everyone's going to be on the alcohol. I love that your your left boob is 41 and your right boob is 19. <laughs> Rating out of 10. <laughs> 20. Right, okay, so. Now raise the knees and pump the arms. Let's go. Pump it up. Beautiful. Now shake the middle. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, mighty hikers. Lovely little spot over there. In fact, I think if we were doing this ourselves, that would be our first stop. <laughs> so at this point, we have done just over five kilometers. We haven't stopped yet. We're still going with sort of the main crowd. Uh, although I did find out that when we got there, Carrie had signed us up for the longer route. I didn't realise there was a shorter route option. So, learn something new every day, that your best friend is a liar. <laughs> livid. 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 They're like, you're doing the long one or the short one? I was like, I'm sorry, what was that? <laughs> Currently uh, exploring the high street. Look at this gorgeous puss puss. <gasps> There's a little kitty cleaning herself in the window. Oh. <laughs> This is the future right here. A house that backs onto this with a private mooring and a beautiful, definitely Reva boat. Fantastic. Add to vision board. <laughs> Old age, stretching out the hips. <laughs> At the, what is it, third of the way mark? Mm -hmm. We're a third of the way. We've had wine. We've had a little bit of wine. And lots of snacks. And lots of snacks. Jobs are getting. Leg two? Leg two. I mean the walk leg two, yeah. not this leg two. <laughs> <laughs> when you say later, leg three, I'll be like, oh, I forgot that one. <laughs> We are thoroughly enjoying all of the house porn, but this one, I mean, there are some spectacular houses on this, this particular walk, but this one just looks adorable. And I hear a little, a little puppy. What is it? Yeah, grumbly. Little terrier. Little terrier. 
<laughs> but yeah, that's just gorgeous. Like that is a little summer house. <gasps> and the river goes the other side. Yeah. Oh wow, it's smack bang in the middle. <gasps> that's it, isn't it? You can see the person sunbathing in the back garden. <laughs> well, we have just met, hit the halfway mark. So 21 kilometers and we're looking for our next stop to have lunch. Um, and more wine. We're probably going to have a glass of wine though, aren't we? Absolutely. Hopefully. We um, deserve it. Yeah, we do deserve it. Although, considering we've done 21 kilometres, we are feeling actually quite good. Great, yeah. Um, famous last words, but we'll probably find out at the end how good we actually feel. But what we're finding is stretching out our hips and lots of wine. No, not lots of wine. We actually haven't had, had hardly any wine. What we would have normally consumed on a hike where we live is nothing. We've had like a few sips. But lots of snacks, mm -hmm. uh, water, and lots of house porn. I feel like the house porn has made it go really quick. I know. Um, but yeah, good to see. Lunch is provided. However, that's just not how we do things though. So we found a very nice pub and restaurant. And we've ordered the seasonal wine. Seasonal wine. And we have ordered <coughs> some fish and sides. And... and some gluten free bits and bobs, and we're going to chill here until we kick up the last half of the walk. So, if anyone checks our chip times because yeah. they are Just weird, yeah. it will be terrible. It will be terrible, but on here because we haven't crossed our chip time for pausing yet, so it will say that we're really, really slow. But we're actually just having lunch and then we'll sail through the pit stop. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't even think of stuff like that. Um, but yes, so we're paused on here. At the moment we've done 22.61 kilometres. And uh, we've done that in four hours and nine minutes. So, um, doing quite well. Yes, and I've had 732 active calories. Smashed it. Ooh. That yeah. deserves more wine. Yes, more wine. <laughs> Refueling at the halfway point. All the good stuff. So we're on the last, the last half of the race. Uh, the race. <laughs> Not that I'm competitive or anything, but I mean, this is exactly what I'm talking about when I come to speaking about these houses. Because look at this. This boat was made for you, look, sage oh, green. Oh, it's my sage green boat of dreams. I love it. Also, we just went through the checkpoint and the lady was like, you're so sprightly, you must be doing the full, the full thing. And obviously we were. And we were like, no, no, we've just been to the pub and had lunch. And I think the shock got You missed the tagline. She was like, you must be doing the full thing. Go get some lunch. Yeah, yeah. And we were like, no, no, we've just had some. We stopped at the pub in the village. <laughs> But no, it's very, the look on her face was joy. Yeah, class. We did it well, Millen. We did. Amen. We it. So we're at another very bougie stage of the, the race, and the cows have come down for a little bit of watering at the Thames. <laughs> Can you believe it? The English version of the savannah. Yes. The feet are well and truly strapped. I have about four compedes on each foot. And we've got five miles to go. Five miles? Less Just under, five. yeah. Just under five miles. My legs are literally grey <laughs> with all of the dust. And uh, we've just nailed life with a packet of pombears. So, that. Oh, Putting the back on. You got this chicken? I think these trainers are a la poubelle. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of this. I didn't need sun cream on my legs because the dust has done the job for me. Mm -hmm. Ready? Almost. Home stretch chick. Yeah. That's the wine. Mm. <laughs> it is. Well, my legs are in pieces, but the end is in sight. You probably can't see it from here, but there are some green flags. Not my name on it, but essentially my name on it. And the moment that I get there, I'm getting my shoes and socks off. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait for a shower because I feel gross. And I can't even hold this straight at this point. Hello. 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 
Ooh. And it's still hot. Here they are. It's Dave and Julie. Congratulations, guys. It's an emotional time. You're amazing. Thank you for taking part in our mighty hikes. Here we go. Everyone's coming in at once. Sarah, Mel, Emma, Ben, Andy, Dave, Claire, Lydia. This is some hotel. My goodness me, it's gorgeous. And all of the birds and flower illustrations on the walls are stunning. My goodness, we are just on our way to our room and I'm hobbling. <laughs> we have reached our room. We are staying in the garden suite. Grayson, do the honors. I think you do it on the door, you know what I'm doing. <laughs> Well, I am probably looking absolutely exhausted, but what I am loving is I am clean. I think I've just spent about half an hour in the shower washing my hair, getting rid of all of the dirt. I was covered because it was so dry and it's been so dr dr dry like for weeks. It was so dusty. And like even now I can't get it out. <laughs> Pardon the TMI, but I can't get it out of my toenails, nothing. Um, and also when we got in the taxi, I genuinely thought I was gonna be sick because we'd been so hot for such like a long period of time. Then getting into an air conditioned car was like a bit of a shock to the system. So I was a bit kind of like, I was just a bit quiet. Um, but we've now arrived to the Fairmont Windsor Great Park. And to say that this is the most spectacular room, I am genuinely lost for words. I can't believe how wonderful this is. This is the garden room and obviously I am going to give you a tour. This is beautiful, like absolutely stunning. I can't quite cope. Carrie's in the shower at the moment so I obviously won't show you in the bathroom but you come in through a wonderful door here. You have this beautiful inbuilt storage but there is so much storage in this room this would be like mine and Ali's dream to stay for a long time but we're here for one night we've got the powder room here I love this almost like walnut vanity unit with a beautiful really delicate marble and the stripes on the walls oh my goodness this is so incredible so that's just the hallway <laughs> and then you come into the dining area of course you come into the dining area complete with a little welcome note and it looks like we have some little gifts which of course I will open with you and also true to Fairmont style there are always treats and oh those raspberries and macarons <gasps> definitely going down we've got our little coffee station here and Miss Grayson will be very very happy to see these little um, elephants in this room but beautiful little coffee station here I'm guessing that there should be a little Ooh, there's some water in there. I'm sure there's a mini bar somewhere because we've got the refreshments menu. Um, this would normally be Ali's workstation, um, but because we are here for one night, Ali is not with me and he is looking after the pups and we are here. So this is the living room. Like, genuinely, I am, ugh, like this beautiful, almost like duck egg blue sofa is the dream against this wallpaper. I actually, I can't cope. This is just too much. I have opened the terrace, which I'm gonna show you afterwards. But then we come through here into quite possibly the most beautiful bedroom I have ever, ever seen. Complete with metal coat stand, huge TV. This also, this, um, this hotel, the property is stunning from outside. Obviously me again. Hi, this is the dressing area. So this is Carrie's cupboard. And then if you come around here, we have our dressing table, complete with beautiful large mirror. And then we have my cupboard there, which obviously comes around here as well. We've got a beautiful big bed for us to share. I found the in-room dining room. I'll show you the bathroom afterwards. But now let's go and have a look at the terrace because this is called the garden room. And you know, you know when someone knows you exceptionally well. Like, look at this. 
I feel like all of our sports stuff looks so out of place in here, but look at this terrace. <sighs> like I am in awe. It is so beautiful. So we've got a little seating area here, which I'm sure we will make full use of. And beautiful little yew hedging. We've got another little room there. Then we've got this huge sofa, almost like a day bed, dining table, and obviously, by name, it leads onto the incredible gardens. I'm guessing that is the restaurant down there or somewhere for drinks. I'm gutted that I am not staying longer, but look at how beautiful this is. Beautiful little pergola over there. But this is our room from outside. I love the brick and stone. Oh dear. I also love these little lanterns as well, but I need to sit down. So I will show you the bathroom in a minute, but we are gonna order some food because oh, my goodness, I need to sleep. <sighs> I need to sleep. Well, we are washed and cleaned and dinner is served and we've gone for some good old sustenance. Carrie's got the butter chicken, which actually looks phenomenal yeah. and smells phenomenal. And I've gone for a very bougie burger with chips. And what wine did we go for? Italian sovereign. An Italian sovereign. Perfect. Lots of ice, lots of ketchup. Still haven't opened these yet because I need to do that with you when I'm like uh, in a more fed state. <laughs> <laughs> this is the view. Oh, <laughs> the, the duvet cover. This is the view from the bed. And I can, I can report, <laughs> can be like proper sloth. I can report that this mattress is as comfortable as my mattress at home. Oh my gosh, this is, this is like being at home. <gasps> I can't tell you how happy this makes me to stay in a hotel and not wish that I had my mattress. <gasps> this is the dream, the actual dream. And I am getting pinker and pinker by the minute. So I'm going to go to bed and probably wake up a lot pinker in the morning as well. But <sighs> very, very happy right now. Can't get happier than this. I can neither apologize nor justify why I look like this right now, okay? First things first, my bag was not here when I showered, so I was unable to brush my hair. <laughs> so I literally looked like a Riddler. Second of all, I was so tired, but I'm guessing that my sleep was disturbed perhaps because my body was like, what did you do today, Lydia? Have you lost your mind? <laughs> so hopefully that is justification for this. We're now choosing breakfast. And also the other thing, my eyes, when I went from outside, inside, my eyes. The light sensitivity. Yeah. Yes, from where, where we weren't wearing sunglasses enough because it was so bright. Really? Yeah. Just make sure you wear them today. Will they go back to normal? It's a form of, I know it sounds ridiculous, you can get it in the mountains, it's like a form of snow blindness, it's temporary. Oh, have you seen the wind in the willows? Yeah, but it's I don't the snow, snow blindness. blindness. Oh yeah, I forgot that. <laughs> That's literally like the, um, the quotes, and like the, that is my childhood, the wind in the willows. If you didn't watch the wind in the willows, I'm sorry. In fact, that's probably the first TV we'll show. We'll link it in actually... the description box down below. Yeah. But like that's the first TV show that I've ever said. Have you watched this? And you've gone yes, because usually it's like, did you watch Rising Damp? And you're like, no. <laughs> I'm like, did you watch Bottom? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Whereas anyone normal that grew up in the nineties, <laughs> a la me and Lids, you say, did you watch Friends, Lydia? No. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Comments <Sorry>. erupt. <laughs> See, but that's really American humour, which I obviously love American humour, but I'm like, I also really love. British humour, but like old man British humour. Yeah. And I'm sorry. But I did, did you watch like Last of the Summer Wine? That was British humour. Well, that wasn't like, was it Last of the Summer Wine? What's the one with the three men? Yeah, that was Last of the Summer oh, Wine. Oh, right. Okay. And it was Tall like, one. oh, Howard. Yes. Oh, yeah, Marina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did watch that. I did watch that. Not as frequently as I watched the other ones. Like Red Dwarf. Did you watch Red Dwarf? No. Yeah, I watched Red Dwarf. Red Dwarf bottom rising down anyway um wind in the willows was like the classy side of things very like 
festive, especially at Christmas time. My brother loved it. He could like quote Wind and Willows. But anyway, yeah, when I went outside earlier to do the story of the gardens, I walked in and I, like it was like my pupils were going. Will it go back to normal? No, never. Is that it? I'm snow blind forever. Mm -hmm. To be fair, it was very hard at the end because we were literally for about I'd say four, three or four hours, we were just walking directly into the, into sun. the sun, which mm. obviously is great for the tan. Which you can see on your arms in this shot. Oh, really? Yeah, massively. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which is great for the tan, um, but not so great for uh, the snow blindness. Indeed. So, yeah. Anyway, we're choosing breakfast and we're having coffees. And see, this page is like the safe page. I think they've designed this, this menu exceptionally well. So this is the safe page. This is where you get the Continental, the Fairmont Full English, healthy breakfast, omelettes, and then you turn the page. And Lid's comment was... Oh, why did I turn the page? Because <laughs> this is where you get eggs benedict, French toast with vanilla creme fresh and acai honey, buckwheat and soya milk pancakes with blueberries, I can. I know exactly what's going through your head when you read that, though. I'm like, order it all. No, you're like, don't flip around with pancakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bakery. Fantastique. I've been teaching Carrie about Gustav guy. Um, so now, everything that is like, I don't think I've even spoken to you guys about Gustav guy, but we need to we need to link him in the description box because. I think he must be growing loads because I feel like everyone is like talking about him. But my favourite thing that he does is the a la poubelle. And I was teaching Carrie about it. If anything's like not good, from now on in my life, it's a la poubelle. And um, so that was what, what we were saying for everything. It was like how we were rating houses. It was like fantastique or a la poubelle <laughs> for the houses. But yeah, so I don't know what to have now. I was going to have an acai bowl. I think I might still have the acai bowl. But Ali did message me to say that I needed to make sure I had some protein. So I don't know... That's whether... what I said. That's why I'm having omelette. Yeah. So I don't know whether to have like a, an omelette as well. But have the healthy breakfast and just ignore what's over the other page. Because... Oh, French toast and the pancake. Eggs Benedict as well. A hollandaise Why don't you sauce. have Eggs Benedict then? Because that's still eggs, that's protein. Yeah, but I've got to, like... I've got to be in a bikini later. So have I. But you're not having Eggs Benedict. I'm having an omelette. Yeah, but you're not having Eggs Benedict. No, but it's better... It, but no, I'm... Oh, okay. I can see if they can do it gluten-free. And we'll get the seasonal fruit plate as well. Yeah. Well, let's... Let, I'll get the... I'll get... An, three... Three free-range... Egg... All egg white... What's your favourite toppings? That was a look of excitement. Ham, cheese. Just cheese. Chicken, oh, maybe ham for extra protein. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, oh this is so, I almost want. Oh, I don't know. It's been a seven minute battle to choose breakfast. <laughs> but when the breakfast are this good. I'm gonna be eggs benedict. Eggs benedict. Acai bowl, seasonal fruit platter. No. Oh my god. Oh, Millen. Cocoa Pops? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you, I bet you the Cocoa Pops are the ones that come in the little, little box. Yeah. My grandma used to buy those for us as kids. And honestly, it was like the joy. Because my, I've never told you this, but what my grandpa used to do, and it's my, one of my favourite memories. But my grandpa would lay the table every night before going to bed for breakfast. So obviously the food's not out, but every night, so every morning, and they, they did that like their whole life. My grandpa would lay the table, napkins, like plates, cutlery, all set bowls in the, like, like a proper tablescape. And he would go to bed and then we'd come down in the morning to like a breakfast banquet whenever we stayed there. It is one of my favourite memories ever. And I actually think that that's something I'm going to... Do you know, I'd love to do that. I'd like to incorporate that into my morning routine so that Ali and I always have breakfast together. 
because that's one of my favourite memories. It's lovely. If we could make sure that we always get up at the same time for the most part, I'd love that because that is one of my favourite memories. Anyway. It's such a nice way to bond, like, and start the day with someone new. Mm. You chosen their love. Juices as well. Oh, that's in the continental breakfast thing. We'll take that as a no. So we are having breakfast on the terrace. Beautiful sunny morning overlooking the gardens and this beautiful furniture is so lovely. What I have gone for. You're finally getting your answer of what I went for for my breakfast. I went for the acai bowl and then I went for scrambled eggs with salmon and truffle and gluten-free toast. Got coffee, a little bit of fresh honey with the honeycomb there which I think is blooming lovely and Carrie went for the omelette we're waiting for the seasonal platter we've even got some pastries delicious I have just discovered that it is going to probably be a week of flip-flops for me because my feet the size of the blister I'm not going to show you the size of the blister because it is very very big but my feet are in bits basically but I thought that I would open these little bits with you um, that were left by the Fairmont team <laughs> I feel like I'm like matching the decor perfectly so, look how beautiful this property is I haven't even shown you it from the front yet but it is so beautiful and it says Dear Lydia and Carrie, we are so excited to have you with us. Can't wait to know what you think. Well done on your hike today. I hope you'll have a very relaxing and restorative break with us. I'm so sorry I'm not here to welcome you in person, but my Devon holiday called. Please use my mobile number if you need anything at all. Oh, this is the lady that I met at the Chelsea Flower Show that showed me around the tree houses that I believe they are going to be incorporating very soon here um, at the hotel, which they were so cool inside beautiful little paper so today we have an almost two hour I, don't, I can never say the word uridermic I'll have to ask Carrie I think but uridermic massage never had one of these before I'm hoping it's going to help with my soreness um, but everyone has told me about the spa here like everyone has said it has I think it's like the biggest spa in the country I might make it up Marquise and Jill. Oh, it's a silver plated photo frame. Oh my goodness, how lovely. So it means we're gonna be able to like record our memories in here. Oh, how lovely. That's such a thoughtful gift. Oh my gosh, it's actually framed us. Oh, that is adorable. Carrie and I, when was that? That was when we went to, that was a Jubilee. That was right before we went to see two cellos. How lovely is that? Oh, that's so nice. What a lovely gift. But so far, we've had good food, a good night's sleep, that bed. Oh my goodness, that bed. I honestly, I've always wondered about hotel mattresses, like what the thought process is. <laughs> that mattress. And everyone always asks what mattress I have at home. Um, I have the Sleep Easy G4 mattress. Um, they make them bespoke size, so we got ours in a uh, California King because our bed is an American bed, so it's like slightly bigger than a King. Um, and it is the best mattress ever. Like it is so, so wonderful. Um, and so yeah, I've been like waiting for a hotel to actually do mattresses well and I have found it this is like my dream even though I didn't sleep well purely because I think my body was like in a little bit of shock um so I kept regularly like stirring and waking up and as we mentioned I had like a bit of like snow blindness from the sun yesterday I definitely think that we didn't consume enough sort of like carbohydrates and like energy fulfilling foods um but yeah, it's gonna take me a few days to sort of like get back to normal and just feel myself, but hopefully this massage that we're about to have and a little bit of a spa day is going to be lovely. So um, I'm in my bikini and some Bertie Only By Time silk trousers, which I always love to throw on over a bikini. They're so comfortable. I'll probably wear these home with a little crop top later. And we are gonna head down to the spa. My hair looks redonkulous because I didn't brush it last night. I should probably brush it now because it looks a little bit matted. So I um, I think I will 
give it a brush and then because we're going to be having cryotherapy as well which i'm incredibly excited about i've never tried this before so this spa is supposed to be serious okay so i'm hoping i'm going to be able to show you as much as possible without getting any people in um, of the spa but looking forward to a really lovely relaxed day i brought my book and everything in here which are absolutely wonderful complete with luxury hair dryers there was ghd in the rooms and then they've got dyson down here um lovely little seats to get ready they're massive so many little nooks as well to get ready to put your shoes we have come to the cryo chamber and i believe we do the first which one's the first one so this is the first one so we're going to be going in here for 30 seconds and this is minus 60 and then this is the second one and this is minus 100 and 110 so um anyone that knows me is going to know that this is totally out of my comfort zone because i'm always the coldest person ever but mia is going to film us we've got to put hats on gloves uh, little sort of snowshoes so yeah oh this my is goodness. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh this is too much i'm very excited <laughs> going to find somewhere that does that close to where I live because it was like instant relief in my hips and my glutes from yesterday so incredibly good now I'm waiting for my treatment so very excited And also, first things first, if you don't like feet, look away now. If you do like feet, enjoy. <laughs> but that is one, no, this one here is one blister. Not too close, Carrie, Jesus. I mean, let's give them the, what they no, came for. No, People that like feet are the only ones hanging close. around this content right now. This is the, a little bit further back. <laughs> this, this big one here is, um, was the most painful, but, this is the most spectacular one because the entire tip of my little toe is a blister. So it's literally grown by about that much. But a little one on that one, little one here, this foot kind of, this must be my smaller foot. But mapped, it's all kind of matching to be honest. But yeah, gruesome. Yes, we're gonna have some lunch. Um, I've ordered a Caesar salad uh, with extra Parmesan, chips, and we're going to finish off a bottle of wine that last night that we were both too drunk. Too drunk. Too, too drunk. drunk. Definitely weren't too drunk. I could barely drink mine. Um, so we're going to finish off a bottle of wine because we were too tired last night. So sounds like a good afternoon. We're enjoying our terrace uh, in the sunshine and it's a lovely day. Well, I am the oiliest I have ever been. So I had my massage and um, I've got oil in my hair and I decided to basically leave all of the oil on my body and my face to marinate um, until I get home. 
that is our lunch that we've just had on our terrace here we basically extended our checkout well we had it till three and then we've extended it until five so we've got a few well about half an hour left and we've enjoyed a few lovely glasses of wine on the terrace here um, i'm obviously looking forward to getting home because this is the last trip that i have booked in for a very long time i think i don't have anything booked in at the moment which is actually a little bit of like a and we have the heat wave coming on Monday, which means, well, I've said to the girls not to come into work so that they can just make sure that they're in their comfort and not, you know, being too hot at work or anything like that. And it also means that we can just chill because if it's gonna be that warm, there's no point in do doing anything really. So we're just gonna chill at ours as well, but we're waiting for our car to arrive. No, I'm looking very pink as well, but I have got SPF on. I've got my Anthelios with me and um, I did put it on this morning, but a little bit pinky pinky. The schnoot always goes pink though, but we're gonna head home very, very soon. It's lovely. Little bit of sunshine, couple of glasses of wine. <laughs> looking over the gardens how beautiful i am home and fresh faced because there is literally no point in putting any kind of like color on my face right now because it is so warm it's the hottest day it's the one that in england everyone has kind of been like counting down to where it's to be 40 essentially 40 degrees and i can't even tell you like my light stone patio i can't walk on it our kitchen floor where the sun's hit it i actually oh, can't walk on it. I cannot believe that this is England. My goodness, you can see a little bit more of the pinkness in my face now. Um, clothing is minimal, I'm not naked. That is Porter's Teddy. I'm wearing a little boohoo um, little tank top. Oh, was this Nasty Girl? I think this was Nasty Girl years ago. I bought loads of them. And then some Karen Millen shorts. This is basically my summer get up when the weather is like this now obviously we have the um aircon in our bedroom so last night was probably one of my most favorite nights because we actually had all of the fur babies in the room with us because it was 30 degrees in the kitchen and i was not about to let the boys sleep in that overnight i think it was just too much um and especially because our kitchen gets exceptionally hot because it's obviously a little bit like a greenhouse so we brought the boys into the bedroom and do you know what they settled so well and they didn't even stir and Lumi was perfectly fine with where they were i don't know whether she'll be like that every night and um, we'll sort of play it by ear uh, i think they'll probably have to sleep with us tonight as well but um they were amazing such good boys didn't get up once sometimes you could hear like barkley stirring because the new bed is obviously like a little bit tougher so it's got a scratchier did i show i haven't even shown you the new bed i've got them a new bed it's bigger which i think they'll appreciate but it's not too big it's really weird it's like it's got more space but it's not too i think it's just what they need to be honest and it's also like waterproof um, but I think that because it's waterproof, it's going to make it a lot like less easy for Barkley to, to chew it. Um, it's also green, which I'm very, very happy about. I got it from Amazon. This was the large one. Their toys are always strewn everywhere, but they basically, they slept in here. What we did do is we sort of made a little makeshift crate around them. Now, both of them were crate trained anyway. So for them, this really wasn't like distressing at all. They're both completely fine with it. In fact, we didn't crate train Barkley for as long as we crate trained Porter because um, it actually made our heart hurt so much. Having Lumi and Barkley in the bedroom and Porter out here by himself. So we didn't tra crate train Barkley for as long because I actually couldn't take the guilt. And they settled so well together. So it's why we have to put the crate around Barkley and Porter now, even though they don't get up, because sometimes in the night, because Barkley is not a fully crate trained puppy, he will get up and go to the toilet in the kitchen. So, um, yes, teaching him to, to, do his, to hold his bladder again, but it was absolutely like my dream scenario. And obviously we had the aircon on, still by far our best purchase, like, well, our best install. It was so funny how it happened. We used my brother-in-law's company to do it, which was in Watford. and. Um, they came up here and installed it but we were literally like about to decorate the bedroom and we were trying to make it fit in this cupboard because we didn't want the big unit on the wall so we, we fitted it into the cupboard so that it blows out into the bathroom and into the bedroom and it is just the joy 
the joy that keeps on giving i think honestly that would be the hardest thing is moving to a house that didn't have an aircon in the bedroom i think we can cope with it in like the 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 kit in like the rest of the house because there are areas that are really cool like the basement is really cool in our house ali's office is really cool but the kitchen my goodness it is sweaty in here i'm also trying a new lip liner out today which is a lot more like my natural lip color and i really like it it's a lab sample so i can't tell you what it is but as soon as it launches i will tell you <laughs> But whilst I was away, Ken and Graham were here just doing some few, a few little touch-ups and finishing off some jobs around the house. They also um, started some work on a project that is going to take a little bit of time to actually um, get it finished. But we're basically having our gates stripped back um, because we're having our gate walls redone. I told you about this. I know that we only had them done a year ago, but unfortunately it has not worked. Um, and they are crumbling and falling down already after a year, which makes me incredibly sad. But we have a plan hopefully in place. So um, we're having them stripped back to like a sort of, they're like kind of like oak. So we want it to look like our oxenwood furniture basically. So that is what we're hoping to achieve. So we're basically having them stripped and I'll show you sort of the progress and let you know how it goes. The other thing that I've been realizing, obviously work starts on our patio and I think I've talked you through the plans, but basically we are having the patio redone in an ideal scenario, we would raise up the patio slightly and make it even more of a seamless inside outside space because at the moment we have this step and we kind of want to raise it up and um, make it feel even more seamless because we love how um, it feels in here. Like literally that just looks like a painting. So we want it to be a bit more seamless, but if, if our budget doesn't stretch that, then we, we just won't do it. So we're having the patio redone finally, which I can't even step on this because of my toes. No wonder the boys are inside, babe. I'm just going to go and get my shoes because no wonder the boys are inside and not outside. It is impossible to um, put your feet on the floor. Well, I went to put my shoes on. At the moment, these are the only shoes that I am able to wear because of all of my blisters. And I am only just able to like properly walk again um, because I was in a lot of pain. I think it was good because when I got back, Ali and I took the dogs for a walk to the pub as well. So I actually think it worked in my favor, but wowzers. I'm not gonna work out for the next sort of few days just because I don't wanna overdo it. But anyway, whew. It is so bright, but basically, at the moment, our cushion covers are drying because I tried to wash the oxenwood cushions, um, but you can only get these ones off. You can't get this one off, and I really wanted to wash it, um, but those ones are currently drying anyway, um, and I've given the patio everything a bit of a walk. Oh, Porter, be careful. That's very, very hot. Goodness me. It acts like nothing's happened. This bit here is roasting, but... Oh my gosh, look at the hydrangeas. We are going to be knocking through here, finally, breaking through, putting in steps, and this area down here will become our outdoor kitchen, which I'm incredibly excited about. But because that's happening, oh, we're also getting a new patio down here as well. But because that is happening, we're gonna be left without a patio for probably the main bulk of the rest of the summer which is obviously gonna be very, very sad. So what I'm hoping we can do is actually make use of the like lower ground courtyard. We were down there, you might've seen on Ali's vlog, um, but I really want to kind of beautify this area a little bit. So what I'm thinking about doing down here, first of all, after bugging Ali for ages, I finally managed to get him to adjust the sound on this blooming water fountain because you have to get it just right, otherwise it's just, oh, it just sound, before it did not sound right, okay? And I was like bugging him for ages, but I love how it's greening up down here and just looking a little bit older, which is making me very happy. But what I'm thinking about doing is getting some like iron furniture for down here. So like maybe a sofa and some chairs and a coffee table. Um, I'd love to put a uh, almost like um, window, outdoor mirror, style and maybe an iron console table with a marble top i think that would look really lovely then i also think maybe like a round iron table down here with a couple of chairs like maybe four or five shut this because 
we get a lot of drafts in our house yeah maybe like an iron table just give it a little bit of like a, a bit more of a courtyard feel down here a lot more plants i want to trail ivy over the tops of here i think we might replace these lights as well because the way that that looks up there with the uh wisteria just tap, like draping down we kind of want to plant loads of ivy and let it grow over so that you just get that sort of overgrown effect um but we shall see but yeah so i've, I've found a little bit of furniture on Neptune that I think I might try out down here just to make it more sociable because when we start phase two um, this area is going to become like it's going to be used so much more and I think that we're going to want to have this outdoor seating area and plus this is such a little like microclimate down here and I never even realized like yesterday we were down here and it was actually quite cool which is so so lovely um, sorry I was just looking at a massive red kite that was just there but yeah, it was really nice and cool down here. So it, it creates a different kind of feel. I think that's why the orange trees do so well down here. But yeah, I'm thinking like lots of little, like kind of like the, the inside of the house with the little lemon trees and things like that. Just making it a bit kind of Mediterranean-esque, like courtyardy vibes down here. But just also then the girls can come out here because it's just a bit bare. And I think everyone kind of ignores it. When it, like I've asked so many people for like designs for the courtyard and I actually never ever get them. And this is something that I have to probably be better at communicating when something isn't delivered. But like, all I can do now is just try and I'm just gonna try to style it up. And if not, if it doesn't work, I can just send the um, furniture back because Neptune has a really good kind of returns policy. So what I think we'll do is we'll like push these into the corner, little table there, yeah. That was what we were down here kind of discussing. This is another day, another way that we've been helping the boys stay cool. Um, basically they love veggies, especially veggies from my kitchen garden. So I've been freezing them in ice cubes, which means that they lick it to get the little mange too out and um, it keeps them cool. There's also like, I, I said it on my Instagram as well. There's always a misconception, but ultimately you just have to do what's right for your dog. But there's a misconception that you don't give dogs ice in hot weather. That's usually for when they have heat stroke. Um, but if your dogs are fit and healthy, it's absolutely fine usually. But I would always say, just make sure that you pay attention to um, your dog basically and their needs. Porter and Barkley are not hugely affected by the heat. Most of the time they enjoy being out in it. This is too hot, like in terms of what they're used to, but they're not uncomfortable. Um, and they are really good at sort of regulating themselves, but just as a little treat, they get a little bit of ice and they love it. You can hear Barkley in the other room, but Porter absolutely loves it. No nice. Well, I had been waiting all day for this to arrive and um, sad times, obviously, with um, everything that's happening with like the heat at the moment. Um, I've seen that there's a fire on the tracks at uh, in Manchester. And there has also been a fire at like Waitrose, I think. They've had a few of their vans go up. And so a lot of our shopping hasn't been delivered, which is sad times because this is my first food shop in literally weeks because we've been away so much. We've not really been doing any food shopping. And um, if it has come, I haven't been here. And so I really wanted to go through this with you, but it just is the way that it is. So I'm just gonna show you what I bought, then I'm gonna put it away. Um, we're just sorting out a little bit of the side of the garden down um, near where the back door is. So I'm going to head back to do that, but I'll show you what we've got. So I always get these uh, smooth, creamy Madagascan vanilla yogurts. These are my favourite, favourite snack. Like if I want something sweet and like rich, I get this. Sad times though, they replaced it with the low fat one, which honestly just isn't good. All you can taste is the uh, aspartamine or something like that, and it just doesn't taste nice. This one, the texture of it is almost like orgasmic. Um, sorry, I got interrupted by a phone call there. I am so, look at the sweat. Look at the sweat. I'm gonna need like some serious time in the bedroom. My face is like super sore as well because I'm outside. But um, yes, so I've got my Madagascan vanilla yogurt, which I love. Then we've stocked up on, oh my gosh, there were so many dochi balls in stock. I think they've only sent two though and I'm pretty sure I've got like four of these. And I also got some little moons as well. These are the honey roasted pistachio ones. Ali prefers, I think, the little moons. I prefer the dochi. Um, I've got some Scottish 
smoked salmon because I have a friend coming over this weekend and we'll probably have something like that the next day for breakfast. Huh. Absolutely not. Why? I added that. Oh, did you? Oh, I thought I added it. Mm. Oh, okay, that's you then. My bad. <laughs> Fresh sourdough loaf. Some parmesan knot because I'm obviously going to be doing a lot of risotto. I love making risotto at this time of year. So we got two of those. Lots of hummus because I love dipping my courgettes in my greenhouse in hummus, mozzarella for the salads, pasta to mix any, I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna do quite a simple pasta recipe on um, Saturday when my friend comes over. Kind of like the buttery, um, garlicky, but then just with some greens, so like some monge too if we have some still. Um, so I've got salad for that, I've got my almond balls. I also got the Waitrose Organic Dutchy Mayonnaise. And I was really interested in this, um, the Dutchie Organic, because Dutchie is a brand that sits within Waitrose. It's a partnership between um, the Prince of Wales charities. So uh, I thought that was quite lovely. It basically helps with the charities' funds and things like that. So also the other thing that we've noticed is it says, apologies, the best date available because of the fire. There were so many things that were like destroyed. Um, so we've not got things that have great dates on them, but they've given them to us for free. So that's, that's fine. Um, we've got some spinach, loads of Tyrrells, these Fitzgerald's sourdough donuts, uh, bagels, I wish they were donuts, but they're bagels. These are my absolute favourite because they come pre-sliced and they're sourdough, so they're a lot better for my stomach. Coconut water for fresh uh, smoothies, oranges for orange blossom cake, and I also picked up some orange juice and some um, Waitrose tomato ketchup because do you know what I always like own brand ketchup more than I like branded ketchup because they put too much sugar in the other ones and they're just so sweet um, but anyway I'm going to get all of this put away and then we're going to get out into the garden just to finish off I'm potting up a few different bits um, and some uh, flowers that I've had delivered ages ago and some of them have died because I've been away so much and I haven't had time to pot them up so I'm going to put this away Barkley are you okay my little boy? are you okay? I hope you are. Do, do, do. It is so warm, I actually can't cope. Everything is sweating. But I have said to Ali, oh, hi, I have said to Ali that tonight we are going to get into bed early and hopefully we are going to watch um, Under the Tuscan Sun, which looks like a very, very lovely film, which someone I think mentioned that I should watch, to be honest. Excuse me, Barkley, though. How about now? Hi, I'm melting. Thank goodness for insulated water bottles. Well, we have finished off in the garden. If you can hear the wind blowing, it's because we are on the cusp of a storm and I'm hoping we get some rain because it is incredibly hot at the moment. But it is blowing a gale out here. Look how blustery it is. Oh my gosh, Winnie the Pooh would love it. He'd love it. Dinner's ready, babe in the poo pickup. I'm just getting ready for bed and I've just opened a rogue Amazon parcel and this is something that I was totally influenced by Amelia Liana for. This is an ice roller so I'm going to pop this in the freezer for 15 minutes so that once I've done my skincare I can roll my face. I know this is for the morning and I'm going to do it in the morning as well but I can't wait. I honestly can't wait so I'm going to do my skincare and then roll it in. What are you two doing? Oh helping each other out are you? Porter, you are absolutely disgusting. We're about to move their bed back into our room as well because they were so well behaved last night. So we're gonna take them in because it's actually hotter this evening. It's 32 degrees. And um, yeah, I think it's best that they're in our room. I have just had a shower after being in the garden, done my skincare, and now I am using my new favorite thing. Oh my goodness. This is the dream. I can't wait to use it in the morning as well because I get a lot of puffiness in my face. Mm. So good. So, so good. Oh. Well, it did say to leave it in for 15 minutes and I reckon you could just leave it in there so that it's super cold. And the last time you left something in the freezer. Yeah, no, that wasn't supposed to go in the freezer. That was supposed to go in the fridge. It didn't have instructions with it. Okay. This one did and it says it can go in the freezer.